Welcome everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Stock Option Review for March 4th, 2019. I'm your host, Scott Patton. Joining us is Coach Rob. Our goal in these short videos is to show you that there are opportunities pretty much every day, Monday to Thursday. We like to take Friday off to make money with stock options. If you have the right system, if you have the right software, if you have the right coaching, if you have the right strategies, there's a lot of things that you have to have uh, you know, set up correctly and understand and be really competent at to make money in the stock market, with particularly with stock options. However, it is not, uh, you know, beyond the realm of possibility for the average person, which makes it really exciting for us because we love to teach, we love to share, and we have some amazing, well, we have an amazing programmer that uh, mine is just absolutely awesome, who's put together some software. So. In these videos, you're gonna see the software in action, you're gonna see a little bit of the strategy, and hopefully enough to show you over time that, hey, maybe there's something here. If you take some time to learn, if you take some time to practice, if you're coachable, and uh, if you're willing to step out of your comfort zone. Trading is not for everybody. So uh, with that, we're gonna be taking a look at March 4th, and Coach Rob, were there opportunities to make, uh, to skim a little money off the top? Should we put it that way? Yeah, the, absolutely. March 4th was a good day. And if you want to explore March 4th, you're hitting on what you were saying, Scott, 10 day free trial, risk free. You can start it and you get the whole replay simulator. So you can look up days like this and say, oh, I heard, you know, Bob the other day talked about how the Dow was down a couple hundred points. Well, all right, I can go research it and see what it was. And then exactly what you said, you develop a strategy and a system for trading where you get over yourself and just get in the market and only do, only perform those actions that make sense and uh, are in your best interest. So, and before you get into it, we want to tell you that these trades are super, super hot. This is the second time we've tried to record this particular uh, series of trades and it has been almost fried Coach Rob's computer. So hopefully we won't have that problem again. But just to let you know, these trades are really amazing. Absolutely. And what we see here, Scott, on the fourth is the basket. This is the collection of the best options to trade uh, on any given day. Today we had 15 that the system auto-populated for us, removed some of the thinking. So you just pick from that list of options and combined all the best option tickers went way down for that first half of the market today. So with options, it doesn't matter if the market's going up or going down, we can still turn a profit with either a put or a call contract, just depending on the situation. For a red move like this, a big bear run, we're gonna trade puts. And then when it comes back on the green side, we can also uh, make a little profit if we find good trades. Um, by buying call contracts. So let's look at a couple. This is uh, five minute candles for the whole day. So I'm gonna take us back in time with our replay controller to the very beginning of the day. And we're gonna look at one minute candles on Google. Google uh, had a nice strong move. It didn't look like much to start out the day. So I'm using my finger to move forward one minute at a time. And this is what you do when you're, when you're setting up your system. You look for moves. It's sideways. It's in this orange area called the risk zone. There's a high chance of turnaround there. So you don't want to touch it yet. Why don't you wait until the stock peaks out of that risk zone, has a bunch of volume behind it, a nice, big, fat, powerful candle, and nice signal came in. We got the Fantastic Four coming on. <clears throat> and right here, well, we already covered we're above the risk zone. Right here was a very important price point, 1160. Big round numbers are ones that investors target, stock traders and options traders all. So everybody's paying attention to that number. Sometimes a line like this will cause the stock to stick around it, or it could bounce off hard if there's a bunch of sell orders just waiting to ambush you at that price. In this case, it got some strength. Uh, that volume pushed it over that big price mark. And now really the only thing in our way is this RB line. So that's resistance. We, there's a dollar to move from 1161 to 1162. So let's get in and we'll just be quick on the exit if we need to be, if conditions dictate. And that's the system you want to have. It's not anticipating what's going to come next, but just get in on strength, wait and see if it sustains, and then exit on strength. In there, we used our buy close options to buy a call. 
we're accounting for the commissions right off the bat. So it's already in your calculations. Let's see what happens moving forward one minute at a time again. Right there. So we're, we're flirting with that RB line. It's, it's very close. It's only 18 cents away from that RB line. And it did peak above it once, but we still got that volume propelling us. So let's go ahead and see a few minutes. And it touched it. It gave us some, some resistance. So let's go ahead and exit there. Also, we're at that 945 time frame. At certain points, the market, like tops of hours, bottoms of hours, the market will tend to turn around. It'll just shift. Sentiment will change and it could reverse on you. So it's a good safe time to exit, preserving that uh, gain that we already had, that really nice, I call this a triple, if we're using the baseball analogy. We're really only hunting for singles, but sometimes singles can turn into triples. And so 15.7% in three minutes on Google. That's, that's a, heck of a, a heck of a morning. I would be walking away, ha fat and happy, and moving on with the rest of my day. But we did cover that the basket had a really strong bear run. So let's, let's get into it at the same exact time and see when the bear run starts. I talked about that 945 being a powerful moment, Scott, in, in, as far as time windows during the day. Well, let's just go see what happens if we go look at Tesla, one of our favorites who recurs on these trade reviews. Tesla did not have the start to the morning that Google did. Instead, Tesla went sideways but had a lot of big, red, powerful. You could tell the bears, the sellers, were trying to take Tesla over in this case. So let's get rid of the trade log and <clears throat> we'll move forward one minute. Now Tesla is starting to get the Fantastic Four, that Signal, K-Band, Trendline, and J-Stop. And we're breaking out of the risk zone. We've had nice volume all morning. So now Tesla is primed for a red run. Let's get in right there. Plenty of room. We've got to watch that previous low as it, you know, as the price approaches that point. That could be a point where there might be a turnaround. So let's just watch it carefully. We're in there on a put option and that's a nice lower low. That's a good start. That's what we wanted. We've already got a single in the bag using baseball terms again, 8% 8, 8 in one minute that you wouldn't be wrong for exiting there, but you've also got some room to run. So let's see how far Tesla will actually go for us. And now we're approaching that previous low 15%, but we're gaining strength. There's really nothing too crazy to get us out. And on this one, you might get out, but the conditions are pretty darn good. The market is supporting your move. And if you just move forward, if you're patient and you have that strong hand that we've talked about multiple times, Scott, you're getting down to this point. There's a volume spike, another potential exit point with 39% profit. Well, if you did, if you had that strong hand and you stayed in for another minute, you could have 48%. And then after you would see the real end of that move, the real volume spike, right here at SA, that's the support line. Uh, support stops downward trends, um, or, or at least gives them trouble. So if you weren't out before, you're definitely gonna be out here, because that was like, that was a nice hard backstop for that trend. So we'll close it out with 34. Yeah, sometimes they happen. great illustration, Coach Rob, of one of the things that uh, Warren Buffett always said when they asked him, you know, how did you make so much money? He says, well, I got in too late and I got out too early. So this is a case of, you know, we have that hard stop and getting out too early would have been in that red candle and we would have been at 40 something percent. So you don't want to go so far that you, you get the, yeah, obviously this is going the other way. And uh, although of course with our replays, we've just got small increments of time. Whereas if you were doing this live, you would have the tick, 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 and you'd probably be knowing a little bit quicker that this thing was turning around. But the point being is, when you're trading stocks, you are basically fighting with yourself over two emotions. One is greed and one is fear. And I'm afraid I'm going to lose if I don't stay in or come on, baby, give me another buck or another percent. Uh, it's either fear or greed. You have to be able to understand those emotions in yourself and control them uh, because they're the cause of a lot of the problems that our traders, that traders have in general, I think. Right. And there's also another element to it. There's, as, as we pointed out, there's multiple exit points. You can get in here, nice entry, and then you can get out when it hits the previous low and then make another trade on a put if it gets its strength back after this kind of flutter. And when it's breaking that previous low, you can get it down for another nice run. So there's, there's a, like I said, there's a lot of ways to skin this cat. Uh, getting in, getting out costs you a couple bucks in commission, but the, the profit percentage is just ridiculous. Can't beat that.
anywhere. Uh, not in that time frame, at least. 10, 10 minutes for 34%. Take that any day. And similarly, just a few minutes later, one more for March 4th at Adobe. Had a nice nice red morning as well. Uh, kind of like a stair-step way. I'm cycling, but mostly red. And if we just follow that to the 10 o'clock hour, it's going to start breaking out again to the downside. And it's, built, it's gathering strength. And Ray, it's not, it's not quite broken this Y point in Einstein double up yet. So I'm not convinced yet until it has a nice lower low and it's pretty obviously beyond that, those support lines. So let's get in on a put and we'll move forward one minute at a time to see what Adobe does moving down. And there we go, nice, nice start again, lower lows. You could see in the basket at the very beginning, this was a nice, sustained red trend and the in the moment price action backs that up four candles nice lower lows we're at 17 percent right there we don't really have any we got 67 cents to get to our next support line and there it is in that just in that one breath we just hit from 18 to 30 percent and it's the fourth candle of this trend that's a pretty significant number. A lot of trends don't last too long. This is a little bit stale at this point. And we have dug on 30%. So let's close, be happy, and not press it anymore for this day. The market's given us plenty. We can move on. Some really nice, easy trends, drama-free, stress-free. Get in, get out, and then do the other things that are important in your life. Because really, we have the financial side of our life, we have the emotional, the family side of our life, we've got the mental, which is, you know, things that you want to learn and get good at and do. We have the physical, you're in Colorado Springs and I'm in, right now I'm in Manila, so I'll go to the beach and you go climb in the mountains. And then of course you have the spiritual goals in your life, which could be uh, your church or whatever religion you're, that you're in, or it could be a being of service to other people doing volunteer work and uh, helping those less fortunate. So there's a lot of aspects to life and when you don't have to worry about putting food on the table, uh, the other parts of your life then become a lot fuller and that's a lot of what we're about. So you'll notice we're not talking about sitting in front of your computer for you know, nine hours a day because you, know, you might as well commute to work and be in a cubicle somewhere. We're talking about getting in, getting out and the beauty of our software uh, that we don't talk about as much as I think we should, is you don't actually have to be watching. You can be setting up the, the systems that you like, that you use, and the computer will monitor everything, or the, and the software will monitor everything, and it can even have something pop up and say, hey, Rob, check out Adobe. I think it could be pretty good. <laughs> In your own voice, or your friend's voice, or your significant other's voice. And so you could be doing something else, and go, oh, take a look. Oh, yeah, this is starting to turn into what could be really interesting. So this is not about, you know, sitting in front of your computer for hours and hours and hours looking for a three minute trade. This is about being able to have the financial security that you want, that you deserve, and then moving forward from there. Yep, freedom of time and money. Freedom of time and money. That's right, you don't need to work eight hours a day for 40 years. You can, uh, you can do it a lot faster but it takes work, it takes time, it takes practice, it takes really good coaching and a really good system. We think we can offer all of those things. So check the description, you'll see how you can take advantage of our 10 day free trial and some of our training. And when you do the 10 day uh, free trial, uh, Coach Rob or one of our other coaches will be there to assist you and, and get you started. So we're not, we're not here to throw you to the wolves, we want, to, we want you to be successful. So thank you for joining us everybody, this is the day Trader Genius Stock Option Daily Review for March 4th, 2019. He's Coach Rob. I'm Scott, your host, and we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.